Hi, this is Drew, KD7QCU, with a quick tour of my QTH antennas. Uh, right over here we have our VHF mast. Uh, right here is a 6 meter uh, 2 element Moxon. Uh, that's built by me. Uh, we have our little NTE uh, rotor with uh, metal gears. Um, and this is all fed with uh, half inch heliax and then it goes to LMR 400. Um, and then up above that we have a um, 2 meter 432, um, both three elements on, uh, on each band. Um, it's currently uh, pointed up 30 degrees to kind of help with uh, satellite reception. I was kind of primarily using that to uh, receive Aerosat 1 before it, uh, before it hit the atmosphere. Um, over here we have my, uh, my HF mast and at the top, right here, kind of leaning in the wind, uh, is a 15 meter ground plane vertical and so the ground plane uh, radials go down that way along the guy wires. Uh, right here we have a 2 meter um, ground plane vertical with a little ugly ballon wrapped around the uh, PVC mast right there. And then right here we have our New Carolina Wyndham, which is uh, 25 uh, feet on one side and uh, 40 something or other feet on the other, um, and with a 4 to 1 ballon. And then we have a 10 foot uh, piece of LMR, uh, I think 230, going down into a uh, ugly ballon right here, wrapped around a 4 inch PVC uh, pipe. Um, and then it connects into the LMR 400 right here and goes back to my shack. Um, so the ugly ballon basically removes the uh, um, RF from the shield of the antenna, uh, which makes it uh, so that this 10 foot part actually acts as a, uh, a vertical radiating element on the, uh, on the Wyndham. So one end is uh, over to the tree over here and I'll walk across my yard and then the other piece is going over here to a uh, aluminum mast that I kind of built and uh, put up. Uh, it's just guide uh, with some with some cord uh, supported off my shed. So anyway, those are the antennas of uh, KD7QCU 73s.